excited I wanted to try and vlog this week because I think it'll be a fun week hopefully. <laughs> I have a lot of reading to do so this is gonna be a little reading vlog. There is no theme to this. I guess like finish my library books so <laughs> uh, I will be doing that. I also it's my week before finals hell week so I am working on some final projects but overall I don't have that much work to do this week. Um, I have some things to accomplish today and otherwise I'm mostly going to spend this week focusing on my final project for my YA literature class and so I'll show you guys throughout the process. I'm really excited about it um, but I'll just go through the books I'm hoping to read this week real quick. So first we have Honey Girl. I'm very close to done. Okay, this doesn't look like it, but I only have like 100 pages left, so I'm I'm positive I can finish this today. I'm loving it so far, which is why it's taking me so long cuz I just don't want to end, <laughs> but I will finish this today. It's my goal. Um I'm also going to be reading The Poet X. This is for my YA Lit class. I This is one of my favorite books, so I'm really excited to reread it. And I just got the audiobook on Libby, so it was available so I can listen and read it at the same time. I also have Real Life by Brandon Taylor out on audiobook right now, so I will be listening to that throughout this week. I have to get that done because it's due in five days, <laughs> so, and I'm 20% through, so, but it's going really fast. The chapters are just really long, so I really have to, like, set aside 40 minutes to an hour at a time to read a chapter, but I, I'll get there. Then I also, once I finish Honey Girl, I want to read Leave the World Behind by Ruman Alam, but I also have a book coming in the mail that you guys can't guess which one it is so <laughs> i will be uh reading that the second it gets here so i don't know if i'll i hope i'll have time for this one and that one um in terms of fiction then i also always have a non-fiction going so i checked out the other f word a celebration of fat and fierce and this looks super cute there are some beautiful illustrations. Of course, now I can't find any. Here's one. And it is just, I, it's super cute. So I think this will read really quickly. So that's gonna be my nonfiction for this week. I don't think these will make it into the vlog, but <laughs> if they do, I'll insert the rest of this clip. Um, I have a good kind of trouble. This is a middle grade by Lisa Moore Romay. And then I also just recently found at the library Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. So if I have time, I'll read these. I doubt I'll have time this week, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, we shall see. So overall, I think it should be a pretty exciting week in terms of reading, in terms of school. It should be fun. So I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along. So yeah i'll i my class is on break right now and it's about to end so i'm gonna go back to that <laughs> and i will catch up with you guys in a little bit all right i drove to a coffee shop so i'm hoping it's not busy hoping to get some work done hoping to read the poet x and do some readings and then hopefully do a little bit of work on my final for one of my classes. We'll see.
basically my day was great. I went and skateboarded for a while and then I uh, ate a great lunch. I didn't vlog it because it wasn't very aesthetic but it was tasty. <laughs> and then uh, since then I've just been working on homework. I read the entirety of The Poet X. It was so good just as I knew it would be. I listened to the audiobook and I've never done the audiobook before and it was great, incredible. So I have a lot of page tabs here. So I'm, I'm done with my work. I wrote up a few um, general thoughts I had after reading this, but I think I might add on to that because I'm leading a discussion on this book um, later this week. So I might add I might just do a few more questions for that, but otherwise I finished my to-do list for the day. So I think the rest of the day I'm gonna listen, my listen to my audiobook, um, real life, because I have six days left, and hopefully gonna finish Honey Girl. So I took the cover off so you can't even tell what book this is, but I am desperately hoping to finish this. So that's my plans for the evening. Perhaps I'll update before I go to bed. Perhaps you'll just see me tomorrow. Hello everyone. So it's Tuesday. It is currently 11 a.m. <laughs> and all I've done today is get ready. So I'm kind of having a late start to the day, but a little reading update. I did finish Honey Girl last night. And it was very good. I loved it. I just really relate to the main character. I love it. I loved it so much. I do get how some people maybe didn't like it based just because they had different expectations. I got this through book of the month so I saw it was labeled as a contemporary and not a romance so I knew it wasn't going to be like a fluffy romance but I think it must have been marketed that way in some circles because uh, several people have said how they thought this would be a romance and it wasn't but for me it's like exactly what I was looking for it's really about academia about um, mental health learning to ask for help learning to be vulnerable and it's just such a sweet story so I love it this is a debut author Morgan Rogers so I'm excited to read more from her in the future so today I am kind of conflicted on what to do. <laughs> um, I think I might just listen to my audiobook. Like I said, it's currently a little past 11, so I have a class at 1 till 3, and then I have to go to work till 8 p.m. So my day is kind of booked, so I'm trying to decide if I do want to read um, Leave the World Behind or if I want to wait because I think tomorrow is when my pre-order will come in and I know I'm gonna want to read that as soon as possible. I'm just feeling conflicted about this book. I'm not, I haven't started yet, but I'm just trying to decide. I don't know if I'm in the mood for a thriller, but I also know it's not really a thriller. And actually a lot of the reviews like were mad because they thought it would be and it was more like slow apparently or more just like creepy. Um, feeling rather than being like a, a true thriller but I don't know I kind of went in with this thinking it was just like gonna be kind of commentary on race and class but then I heard that it was a thriller so then I had that in my mind but yeah I'm just I know this is gonna be kind of slow even if it's short so I am trying to decide I guess if I want to start this today Otherwise, I'll probably just read my, maybe I'll just read my nonfiction book and wait for my pre-order to come in tomorrow. Um, but then I, I'm, yeah, so I'm trying to decide if I want to, um, try to read this or just return it to the library when I go to work tonight. But yeah, that's, that's all for my day. I don't have much to do in terms of homework. Um, just a couple little things, so should be somewhat chill of a day, not as much work as yesterday. So that's good. And we'll we'll see when I update you guys again. Hopefully by then I'll have picked a book to read. everyone.
one. Just one to give a little reading update. I listened to Real Life last night and for a couple hours. So I was at 18%, now I'm at like 60, 62 or 63, something like that. So I have, I've listened on two times speed, so I have about an hour and a half of listening left. So I'm hoping to finish that tonight. Um, I've only read about 40 more pages of A Good Kind of Trouble. So I'm on, I'm on page 85 right now, but it's going well. I love it and I, I can totally see where it's going, but I love it. I think it's handling so many different conversations that is so pertinent to this age group and they really need um, some guidance on dissecting some of the nuances of identity and about race and Black Lives Matter and it does not shy away from that. So loving it, can't wait to see where else it goes throughout the rest of this novel. I'll check in with you tomorrow or perhaps later tonight if I finish something, we'll see. Hello, I, it is Friday morning. I finished real life last night. It's not my, I wouldn't say it's a favorite. I don't think I'm gonna be reading it five out of five, which is disappointing because I know so many people that love this book. Um, but I would, I would say it's probably a four or 4.5 I haven't fully decided on my like final rating yet but my initial instinct is like a four. I did I really liked it. It was super well crafted. There were so many phrases or sentences I was just like wow this is amazing writing but overall like I don't know there, there wasn't anything that like I really stood out to me or I connected with or that like opened my eyes. Um, but I feel like maybe that was kind of the point. I'm not sure. So, finish that. I did not finish A Good Kind of Trouble, but I'm so close. Um, actually, I'm like halfway. But this took like no time to read. It's going so fast. Um, the print's huge and stuff. So, I will be finishing this tonight. Then, starting on the other F word. This is also going to read fast, I can tell, so I'm excited about that. Um, and then tomorrow, my pre-order should get here, so that is going to be very exciting. Now I have to go to work, so I will check in with you later, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> okay, I just got off work, and I'm, at, I'm conflicted on what to do, because I've not finished my my middle grade book i started another one at work a nonfiction, separate from anything i showed in this video and guess what was on my desk my pre-order eve brown so now i'm unsure i'm i'm thinking i usually work out after work on fridays friday night in i am thinking i'm gonna skip that trash my plans. My friends that watch this later, I'm sorry, but I'm canceling a movie night and I'm going to read this. So I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. That's what, yeah, I think it's a solid plan. I'm changing to some comfy clothes and I will update you guys when I've read a little bit. Yay! <laughs> All right, happy Saturday. Last night, I read all of Eve Brown. I binged it. It was so good. Easiest five out of five I've ever given. I I love the the love interest. The it was a hate to love relationship, which I usually don't like in books, but I I did really love this one. Love the chemistry. I also loved the the self, the development that, what is it called? Character development that Eve goes through is so, so beautiful. And I love the autistic representation in both of these characters, especially in Eve. Um, we don't get autistic women portrayed very well. And if um, they're usually, when we do, it's very stereotypical. So I am so pleased with this. I cried several times. <laughs> I felt so seen 
for the first time in my life. It felt like the first time that I read a something with lesbians and, and, and felt like finally I was being represented. It felt like that again. Um, and I just, I have so much love for this. So beautiful book it just came out on Tuesday, uh, March 9th. So it's in stores now. Okay, please pick it up. I really want Talia Hibbert to write more of these books. Like, let them, let them get married. Let them have children. Let's go through their whole lives, you know? Because I want more from these characters. And I'm so... If this is it, I'm, I'm so sad that this series is over. So, that was my thoughts about this. Now, I'm gonna go to work. See ya. Hi everyone, it is currently Monday. I am just gonna wrap up this vlog because I did not film yesterday. So over the weekend, I did finish A Good Kind of Trouble. I really liked this. I gave it four stars. This is a really cute middle grade and it really, it ha there's so many themes going on here. There's definitely a lot of stuff about Black Lives Matter, about race, and particularly about specifically how anti-blackness in the U.S. context is very different from other forms of racism and so I really like that nuance and just liked the the conversations this could open up and then there's also just the like aspect of being in middle school and friendships changing and wanting to kind of grow up and you know wear makeup and that sort of thing and so I really liked that aspect. Overall, it's a really fun book and I definitely would recommend it to people in like late elementary and middle school. Then I also over the weekend read American Born Chinese. I read this for my YA Lit class and it was really fun. I've read this before but I kind of forgot <laughs> what happens and so reading this again, it felt like I was reading it again for the first time and the ending is just mm, is so good so i i really like this then i also finished the other f word it's really fun really quick and i really like the variety of essays included in here some are more about more self-helpy and are more about like uplift and just like encouraging um youth that are reading this to like live their best life and then some are more focused on social aspects of um, how fat phobia and anti-blackness intersect or about um, queerness and the fat phobia in the queer community. Um, some are about more, there's several about fashion, which were really fun to read. And some are, are more based like resources, but I just really liked that aspect. So I think this book and a lot of books like it really preach like self-love. They don't really talk about how to start doing that. And so, I really liked that there's just so much variety in this book. I think there's something that every youth would like. And so I highly recommend this. So just to wrap up the vlog, I read, <laughs> oh Lord. I read seven books. I read The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo, gave this five stars. Absolutely love it. Honey Girl by Morgan Rogers, love this one character was super relatable. Real Life by Brandon Taylor. This was quite a good book. It wasn't a personal favorite of mine, but it's definitely one I'll be thinking about, and um, I definitely understand why it was shortlisted for the booker, because the writing is really incredible. Actor Age, Eve Brown. This was absolute 5 out of 5. Loved it. One of the best books I've read in a long time. One of the best romances I've read in a long time and I love the representation it, it doesn't get better than this <laughs> A Good Kind of Trouble by Lisa Moore Rubme gave this a four loved it great middle grade highly recommend it American Born Chinese by Jean Luen Gang definitely recommend this one it is a really well-crafted story yeah that the ending is incredible the way that the stories thread together. And finally, the other F word edited by Angie Manfredi. This was great. I think I'd give it a solid four. 
um, was really, really great, really fun. Definitely not something that is written for me at all. I am not fat, I'm not a teen, but I still got a lot out of it and I think it'd be really, I definitely recommend it to people who fall into one or both of those categories. Um, I think they definitely would get more out of it than I did, but I still really enjoyed it, enjoyed reading it. These are all the books I read in this vlog. I hope this vlog was fun to watch. I know it's a little chaotic because I did not get as much fun film as I hoped to. So as always, if you like this video, would love a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below telling me what a book you've read recently. I'm planning to do kind of a TBR video soon, so I would love some recommendations that I could possibly include on that list. So hope you have a lovely day and see you in the next one. Bye.